what's up people this is Elder Tishi welcoming you to another episode of On The Brain and tonight I'm going to be doing a late first impressions uh, video on the recently launched Ultimate Spider-Man TV show so far I have to say it's so far so good really it just it seems like an okay show um, they have two episodes that premiered on Sunday last Sunday um, at 11 o'clock I believe and yo, it was pretty good. It was actually, it was actually pretty good. But um, I'm noticing a familiar trend in, uh, you know, today. It's the fact that I guess we all sometimes can't let go of the past because we stay comparing the stuff before to the stuff now. Like it's not old school Spider-Man. It's not exactly like the comic. But, it does have Peter Parker acting like Peter Parker. Drake Bell does a great job as Peter Parker, I have to say. As Peter Parker slash Spider-Man, his voice actually fits for this particular animation and this character. The reason why I say that is if you go back to the, to the old Spider- to the original uh, 1994 Spider-Man where he's a college kid, I have a few people that say that the voice didn't match, um... Yeah, he was, like, what, 18, 19 at that point in college? It seemed like his voice was all right for that time, you know what I mean? I mean, what do you, what do you expect? These are animated characters. We can only, we can only speculate what a voice is going to be like coming out of another character. Like, if you see, if you see most voice actors, they don't, their voices... Don't always match their, you know, don't always match what you think they're going to look like. So, but, Drake, you know, but Drake Bell, if you've watched him on Nickelodeon, his voice matches him pretty much to a T. So, but playing a teenage Spider-Man who's 16 years old, still going through puberty, early stages of puberty, his voice is going to be high-pitched. So, whatever. Anyway, getting back to the, getting back to the whole gist of the show. Um... Yes, it is kiddish. Yes, it feels like it comes from a a kid comic book as opposed to just the ultimate Sp you know the ultimate Spider-Man comic book. And they might have and this is just me nitpicking. I don't know what they're going for with the whole um him being a, you know, they want Shield to be they they want Spider-Man to be an agent of Shield and help, you know, help out these other kids who they also want to be the next generation of heroes. No, uh, Nova, Power Man, um, I, I, you know, Iron Fist. Yeah, there's another, there's another trend. Turn, you know, the adults into teenagers or if they're all, or if they were already teenagers, just, you know, dumb them down a little bit. Okay, yeah, this is a show and it's on Disney, people. It's on Disney XD. If you compare it to the original shows, then this is not for you. You know what I'm saying? This is Ultimate Spider-Man. It is a kid's version. It is fun to watch. The only thing I have a problem with right now is the fact that um, it's not Spider-Man solo. It's Spider-Man and, you know, and these other kids. So, it reminds me a lot of um, right now, it kind of reminds me a lot of uh, DC's Teen Titans, which I also was a fan of but now you have, you know, Young Justice, which is a little bit more uh, on the young on the young adult side. And this brings, this right here brings me back to, um, you know, Spider-Man and his amazing friends, as well as a little bit of, you know, teen, you know, a little bit of teen, like early Teen Titan stuff. I know that's two, two different companies, but if, if you look at, if you look at the way the show is, is presented, it kind of reminds me of that. Um, the whole thing, first episode, great power, and then second episode, great responsibility. That was cool, um, because you know that's the way it all that's the way it all started. But they didn't waste time giving you the whole origin thing because you know you already know how it, you know already know how it started. He's already been Spider-Man for a year, and you know some people like him, some people hate him, and he's got um, freaking uh, he's got Freaking um, Norman Osborn, you know, watching him like a hawk. 
you know, they got people trying to capture him early on. They got people trying to figure out who he is early on, and and they have, um, you know, it, it, it's 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 an early it's an early show. It's an early show. It's a kids show. Yes, if you compare it to the past shows, you're gonna be disappointed. I say watch it for what it is right now because it's funny. It has its fun. It has its funny moments. It has its you know cool moments. It doesn't have a like re you know it doesn't have any rewind you know go back to that scene factor. You know what I'm saying if you have DVR, but it's still early on. So I say give it a shot. So far, if I were to if I were to give this a rating, I'd say I'd give the first two episodes a seven out of ten. You know because I was waiting for this for a while. Um, it's early in development, so seven out of ten for Ultimate Spider-Man number one and two. Rest of the rest, of everything else seemed cool. Um, let's see how this Marvel lineup uh, for Disney XD goes. So seven out of ten for Ultimate Spider-Man. Please try not to compare it to the past ones, and. Let's just see how this goes before we tear it to shreds, all right? Because I already, I already see people on the internet doing that, you know. So, seven out of ten. I say it again. Let's give it a chance, all right? Let me know what you guys think. I know this is late, but let me know what you guys think. If you've seen it already, if you've seen clips of it, if you like it, if you don't like it, the animation, blah blah blah, Stanley's cameo, anything, you know. Just uh, let me know. All right, and with that, I am El Tenchi, and that was on the brain. Peace and love.